Halloween is just a few days away, and while the idea of dressing up and a lot of candy sounds fun, <laughs> like a lot of fun, really, mm -hmm. there are some dangers on this year's spookiest night. Fox 26 parenting expert John Pacini is here to talk about fun ways to make the most of Halloween while keeping the kids safe and healthy. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm Thanks glad you came up with this idea because we need to talk about it in order to prevent any problems. Absolutely, absolutely. I think you know the key is having fun and being mm -hmm. able to engage with your kids. And that's what we want to start is, what's the best way to do it? And there's foods and decorations and all these things, but really dressing up together is going to be the way you can connect with your kids. They can see your creative side. Mm -hmm. They can um, you know, get into it with you. There could be so much participation together. They can see you get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and uh, perhaps, and so Look you, at can that really picture. Create, you can really create some <laughs> memories. Yeah, these They're are great so pictures cute. from the City Dads I group. I love it. How fun. Fantastic <laughs> pictures from those guys, oh, and so great. yeah, um, it's just there's so many options, ways there that you can connect and build some great memories. Safety is always a major concern. How do you, how do you as a parent think in terms of rules to make sure that your children are safe? You know what we find, Jose, is that most of the rules we already kind of know. We've heard them. We heard them when we were growing up. They've obviously been, you know, a little bit updated. But it's really sticking to the rules is the key. You know, mm -hmm. it's wear bright clothing or lights. Inspect the candy before you eat it. Children under 12 should always have a chaperone with them. Um, those kind of things. You know, wear face paint, not mask, because they can trip if they can't have, you know, field of view. But the thing is, we get into the holiday, particularly on a Saturday. It'll be a weekend. Parents and children into it. Just don't bend on the rules. Remember them, stick to them, and enforce those uh, important safety rules. You know I'm going to have to be the mean, <laughs> awful medical reporter right now and say, how can we at least try to reduce the sugar intake a little bit? I know that you got to have fun, and it's only once a year. Yep. But come on, that bag's going to stick around in their room for a month. It, it is. You'll find <laughs> those you wrappers, you'll find those you wrappers all over their room for, for months. So, no, you know, I talked to a lot of moms and dads about this and the feedback was starting off tr try to feed them a full meal before they go trick-or-treating okay mm -hmm. so they're not eating their dinner out of the candy basket number one and number two is and this was great I got this from Buzz Bishop uh, who's of the dad camp website he suggested and I've heard other parents talk about it the switch witch or the candy fairy where you take the candy and you leave it out kind of like you would the tooth fairy or something mm -hmm. and there in the next morning there's a little present or maybe a little money so and the so candy, goes bye -bye. candy goes bye-bye <laughs> and not into mom and dad's uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, come on. No, I'm just kidding. There goes all the chocolate, yeah. huh? <laughs> it is hard for the parents, too. I do have to say I like to sneak in there. But it's fun. It's, it's fun for all of us. Yeah, I know. All exactly. Right. John Ficini, thank you so very much. Great ideas yeah, for parents to know. Thanks Happy for having Halloween. me. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Absolutely. Pictures.